What is up fishers? So we're heading out for a quick session after work, but I wanted to do a little recording about what's inside my tackle box. I was a little bit concerned about getting down to the beach and then the sound quality would be poor and I wouldn't be able to show you guys exactly what I've got in here. So the other reason for, for this video is that I wanted to talk about this amazing uh, brand that I found, this amazing fishing brand, local guys called Fish SA. Um, I think their products are amazing, great quality, bang for buck. And for me, it's really changed the way I look at my tackle box and what I put into it. Um, it's designed by fishermen for us fishers, and I really think that you can benefit from using their products like I have. Firstly, this video is not sponsored by them. We're not sponsored by them, although we'd like to be, but maybe one day. But for now, I really just do think that their stuff has helped me and I know that it can help you guys as well. So if you look at the outside of my box, I do have a standard H frame. So it's a bone fuss, however you want to say it. So that one comes with just the standard box down at the bottom. Okay, so what I did is I just went through to Mumbo's Plastics Warehouse and I added the second top box on. Now, I've got a little strap on the outside here. This is the Fish SA strap for their bait box, okay? But for me, I like to use a top box on here as a dry box. Now, the dry box for me is for any extra clothing, my GoPro, batteries, chargers, food, you name it, everything else goes into the top box. I'm an extremely OCD person, so when it comes to my fishing box, everything has to be clean, neat and tidy at all times. So that's why it's really necess necessary that I actually keep a top box on here. So all I did with this Fish SA strap is that I just took it and I pop riveted it to the back of my box and that way this top box is going nowhere. Okay, so another thing that I did is that I went to Mumbo's Plastics Warehouse and I got a box and I just pop riveted it on here for the top. So now this one is quite a nice one, divided, it's got lots of different dividers. I've got my mustard 7Os, which I use quite often. I've got 7O circle hooks, which I use fairly often. And anything that I need close on hand is here at the top. So I do need to take those out because I have to show you guys something with those. And another thing that I really like from Fish SA is these rod straps. Now the rod straps for me have multiple uses and I'll show you another use that I found with them a little bit later on. But for me I always like to keep extra rod straps because they do come in very handy when you need them. So I've always got some extras in there. So let me close this up and put them back. Okay, so what else I have here from Fish SA is this real cover okay so now this is amazing quality beautiful product material lovely zip quality is amazing it's a ykk zip and the best part is is that i got a brand new reel today so i was always fishing with a pen slammer 3 5500 and today i upgraded to a pen slammer 4 uh, it's a 6500 and this will work really really nicely on my assassin sierra or my assassin cob special look at that beauty we're gonna go test her out tonight i can't wait so anyway what i've got on here as well is the spool cover so this is or spool strap from fish sa and that just keeps your braid nice and tight and in check amazing quality and like i said all of their stuff is just bang for buck so you know works out well and that just pops on like that and we're good to go Damn, it's gonna look good, can't wait. Anyway, that's my top box. So what I've done here, unclip that. So what I've done here is I've pop riveted the lid onto this top box so that when I take it off, I don't have uh, lids and things flying around, especially if it's windy out there. And yeah, that just uh, keeps everything in order for me. So take that top box off when we get back to it just now. So one of the coolest things that I did uh, to my fishing box and I really think it's something that everyone could or should consider uh, Very very handy thing to have guys is I went past Gelmar So if you guys know Gelmar they sell all of those kitchen fittings and things and I went and picked up one of these So one of those 
it's a magnetic knife block okay or a knife holder utensil holder whatever you want to call it and that has really done some wonders for me and i'll show you why so remember i kept these braid scissors aside okay so now whenever i use braid scissors and things on the rocks i take them and i just throw them down and then when you're looking for them you can't find them so what fish sa do is they sell this so this is a bungee cord on a carabiner and i attach my braid scissors like that and everything just goes onto that magnetic strip then anything else that i'm needing on the rocks will just clip on like that and i mean that's just perfect. I mean, you're looking for something, you have to scratch it in your box. Now you just clip it onto the front. And I mean, for 50 bucks, all you have to do is pop rivet it onto the front and off you go, you're good. So another uh, thing that I got from Fish SA is I needed to replace the, the webbing on my, um, my rod holder or rod belt. And or rod bucket I should say. Anyway, I needed to replace the webbing. So what I did is I thought about it and I was like, but why don't I just use the same Fish SA um, bait box strap? And the reason that I like it is because you've got this. So you've got this elasticated part. So basically it means that I can really strap this thing nice and tight so that it's going nowhere while I'm fishing. For me, it's great. It's 50 mils, got a heavy duty buckle and it works out so well. Other thing I added was this pad. So the pad is for the back. You've got to protect those gonads, especially when you're fighting a big fish. And yeah, it looks great. It feels great. And because the products are just so reasonable, I mean, you can add them all the time. I've also got this little um, bait, bait box, or what do you call it? It's a little bait uh, holder here, which I strap onto um, to my rod bucket holder. And I've always got this, not because I carry bait with me necessarily, but I find it very useful for keeping things dry. So what I do most of the time when I'm wading is I put my vape inside here and it just keeps it nice and dry so that when I do need to use it, it's always with me. The other attachments that I got from Fish SA to go with this is that I landed up getting this, the knife sheath, keep the knife in there and I also got the scissors pouch with a bungee cord and those are things that I can attach when I need them and I can have them with me on on my person especially when I'm out on the rocks and I don't have chance to go back I can use this little bait um, bucket which will be on my hip and I can use that maybe take a spare sinker spare trace um, some extra leader and if I am out on the rocks and it's a little bit too far to to walk back to my My tackle box at least I'll have everything on hand So I think I'm pretty sorted there and that's what I really really like about their stuff is it's just so well thought out So they do make things like trace pouches uh, At the moment I'm busy using sensation pro series. I always keep traces with me. I hate making them down um, on the rocks or on the beach when you've got slippery bait hands. For me, it's not my ideal. Um, and yeah, just remember I said that I keep those rod straps and today I didn't have any spool covers to, to hold the, the extra grinder braid that got put onto my, um, my reel. So what I did is I just took one of their rod straps and I just kept it on here and it's gonna stop my spare braid from just rolling around, getting tangled, land up losing pieces. So yeah, that works out super well. Another great product of theirs is this. So for your leader line, they make this spool cover, right? Now the beauty of this is that when you need to feed your leader line out, it feeds out like so. And you wanna put it back you kind of just wind it back up. And for me, I always had leader line getting tangled and wrapped up and messed up. And oh, it used to drive me insane. So now I've got this and check out that back into itself. Perfect. Now I've got no more issues with that in my life. 
And the last thing that I've added from them is this little baby. So this is called the rod quiver. Doesn't look like much. I always keep a second one in here for my second rod. So when I don't feel like taking the big Sierra case, I've always got this on hand. So what this is, is basically a little rod holder called their rod quiver, folds into itself perfectly, beautifully branded, and out we come. Okay, so let me show you exactly what this product is. Let me open up this bad boy. So I've actually got it here on my Assassin Cobb Special. So there it is there. Take it off, goes like that, put it back on, and it goes back in. So, very reasonable product, nice and elasticated down here. I keep my rod straps on here just to keep everything neat and tidy and in place. And yeah, this product just works out so well. If you want to go down for a quick throw and you don't feel like packing heavy, you can just take one rod and your reel and off you go. So yeah, that works out great. And just the fact that it kind of folds into itself, so something like this, just give it a little fold up here. Like so. Boom, check it out. Quick like that, back into itself, in your tackle box, and you're good to go. So yeah, that's kind of my tackle box in a nutshell. What I've done, what I've got, the Fish SA products that I'm using. There's definitely more that I'm gonna add. Like I said, I'm definitely gonna add the, the trace bags. I would love to add their, their straps for the back um, of the H-frame. They just look so good, they look so comfortable. So that's definitely something I'm looking at adding. The um, leader line, the spool holder, I might put it up here somewhere. I'm not too sure yet, but I'll figure it out. That's definitely something that I need to add. And yeah, I hope you guys have taken something from this video. Maybe there's some tweaks that you can make to your own tackle box. Um, but yeah, for now guys, tight lines. Hopefully we catch something a bit later, but don't worry, you will see it if we do. And until next time, cheers.